We're about to go get some Vietnamese in Budapest. They said this is one of the best places. Uh, I'll show you guys how expensive that is, but I want to show you these really cool coffee things they have. So it's pretty much like an espresso machine. You take your little, it's like a Keurig, but with, for espresso. So you pop this bad boy in there, drop that down. Look at that cream. Ooh, girl. Seriously, guys, you don't get espresso like this. At home normally. Ooh, that is good. Okay, guys, in uh, Budapest, they have this car sharing thing, which is super cool. So essentially, they just like unlock it. It's kind of like Mo bikes in Thailand. Great way to get around. And it's like 30 cents. What is it? 30 cents per minute? Yeah. 30 so cents per minute. You don't get a like a mileage cap, so it's pretty much all. Dude, all you have awesome. To the only bad part is you have to go take pictures of like all the damage, so it takes a couple minutes before you even get started here. Huh, Peter? That's what he's doing right now. <laughs> well, check it out, dude. You get a little car. Inside the glove department is a key. All right. It's not the biggest car in the world, but I feel myself in a race car at this moment. <laughs> As you can see, my God, <laughs> let's roll in. Oh. All right, there's the key. This is the key to more success. <laughs> All right. It's got a nice voice. Yeah. I want one. I'll take one. Oh, it's 10 extra business. Let's roll. 10 extra business. I fucked it up. All kinds of your places everywhere, and we're gonna go like, get some. Uh, Europe is like a, pretty much the fast food in Hungary, so there is like a Europe is in every corner. Yeah. No, he's it's the big line. He's the owner of the place. <laughs> he's the owner. <laughs> That's a little puppy. Oh yeah, what's up? So I think this is like five bucks or something like that. So 1,500 for it. No, it's not even. It's three bucks. Three bucks. Three bucks. Three bucks. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So euros are everywhere. Mmm, and they are so delicious. For three bucks. So this was three dollars for a big old euro. It was, uh, I think, right under a thousand for it, and it really is unbelievably delicious. I think they use chicken instead of lamb, though, but that's okay by me. Mmm. Oh Lord, let's go get haircuts. Uh, cost of a haircut in the U.S. is like fifteen to thirty bucks. Okay. So what is it here? I think 10, ten bucks or something like that. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, but uh, that's you know, that's the best what you you know can get in uh, Budapest. Oh, only the best for the FBA Titans, right? Yeah, of course, <laughs> only the best. I don't know how much this costs. <laughs> Five bucks, man. Okay, so do you like the one? Okay. Over or uh, we can leave it a bit longer in here. Okay, so a little bit longer here, and we'll shave this all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I like, yeah, and I like it, I don't like it like here. Just give us a minute, it's out of the way. Way fresher. Use the razor. What's up? <laughs> Appreciate it. Is this recording? Okay, let's go. The guy with the... 
cash. Yeah. I got like 15 bucks here, baby. Woo! <laughs> I need to hit an ATM. Let's get a beer. Show the people how cheap beer is. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. The one and only, the Amazon expert from Iowa. The, the one guy. and only, baby. The we only got one the in Iowa. Yeah. Woo, here with the FBA Titans. Cheers. Cheers. No. Drunk and priest, baby. Let's go. His name is Priest. Uh, yeah, here we are. All right, guys, one of the best things about Budapest is how cheap the beer is. I don't know if you can see behind me, but it's like $5.94, so we're talking like two bucks for a beer. And a lot of times you get it for like a dollar, no problem. So we're going to drink that Dreyer. It's Hung Hungarian, right? Hungarian one. Dope. Wow. Oh, it's yours. Because... Ooh, look how big it is. You're more successful than yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> the reason. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Yeah, so pretty cool place. I think, like, like I said before, you can get like beers for like, it's a big beer for like $2. A lot of places you can get them for a dollar. Uh, the cost of living in like Budapest, most people make on average like 700 bucks a month. So you can imagine that you can live here super cheap. But I think if you want like a decent place, you're going to pay like $400 a month for rent. But uh, you guys can get a meal for $3, you can get a beer for a dollar or two. Uh, it's pretty, pretty great place, cool architecture. I'll show you some more of that stuff. I think we're gonna run around. But uh, people are really nice, they like Americans, so that's great. The women are beautiful, um, super hot. If you guys are tall, you guys like tall chicks, there's a lot of tall chicks here. They're just kinda like exotic, but awesome. I don't know, it's better in a lot of places. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else cool about Budapest. I mean, I just, they like they like Americans, which is great. I don't think they like Russians that much. So if you're Russian, maybe stay away, because I think way back in the day after World War II, the Russians invaded and took over. So, you know, maybe there's a little black, bad blood. But uh, yeah, really cool places, great, uh, great food. And so far, I love Budapest. I've seriously never seen escalators go this quick. It's awesome. Look at these people. Hurry. $1.2 dollars for this. You can ride the subway for however long you want. We're on the, going on the subway, a dollar twenty cents. So we do something like this. Uh, this way. Uh, I don't want to ride. This way? No, this, this way. This way. Just it's tough, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. Whoa! Wow, this thing's fast. This thing's hella quick. Dude. Let's go. So quick. Hey guys, we're in there Pest. You see Buddha. And the then nice uh, there's there the, Buddha over there. And then there's this famous statue. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's where they threw a what they do? They threw a saint off of uh it's right up there, past those people. They literally threw a saint off of a mountain. Pretty crazy stuff. They're pretty ruthless here. Like, do not preach the <laughs> word of God. They'll just toss you off a mountain and build a statue. It's crazy. Okay guys, I wanted to go over some final thoughts about Budapest and how much you'll actually spend in a month. And I think in reality you can go and spend about $1,000 in a month because if you think about it, you get an apartment for 400 bucks. In reality, if you're, you have a travel partner, then you can split that cost or even you can spend a little bit more, like 500 bucks, and get a two bedroom apartment and then split that. You're only spending like 250 bucks a month on rent. Um, and now food, like I showed you guys, is like three to five bucks. So like even if you get two three dollar meals and a five dollar meal every single day you're still only spending eleven dollars a day let's say you want to get a couple beers then let's just say 15 bucks uh you're still only spending 450 bucks and that's eating out three meals a day and having a couple beers every single day so even if you spend the whole 400 dollars on rent you're still only talking about 850 bucks so you still have 150 dollars to spend on transportation or really whatever else you want now if you can cut the cost um like you could stay in a hostel for like 10 bucks a night and now you're only spending 300 dollars but uh in reality you could be cooking at home since you have an apartment and save a lot of money in that way and even if you go out for nightlife it's it's like a dollar or two for a beer so you're really not going to spend that much money so uh i'm trying to think if there's anything else uh that might be interesting you guys but uh maybe like transportation uh in the city there's all kinds of trolleys there's a subway you can uh get those green go cars like i said but uh it's pretty easy as long as you're not too far outside of budapest you can get around maybe you gotta walk a little bit but 
good for you. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm actually in Austria right now. So like it only cost me like 40 euros to jump on a train and make it to the entire west side of Austria. And uh, maybe I'll make a video about Austria. I'm gonna be trying to put out more uh, videos. So thank you guys for checking out my content. Please subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later.